sorry, Mara. Look, can we please just go? I can't believe I picked up Tony's jacket and not it's my okay. own. It's okay, it's okay. The last thing I wanted was to wreck Valentine's Day for you. Hey, no, it's not your fault. Please, can you just, can you take this and can we please just go? No problem. What? I just wish I could make you feel better. Maybe I'm not supposed to. Maybe, maybe this is a good thing, you know? Why would you say that? Because, because if I didn't see the ring, then, then I would still have some kind of hope for Tony. But now, now I gotta let it go because, because he's gonna marry Kevin. Mara, don't torture yourself. No, I'm, I'm glad that they're having a good time, really. So now I knew that after Tony found out that Katarina would have the baby, that he would stay with her. He's such a good guy. And and that ring just just proves it even more. Wait, wait, wait. Why not stay, huh? <sighs> stay here all night and try to keep from crying, though. That would be torture. No, you can prove to Tony that life goes on, even without him. No, you know what? I would just much rather go back to the dorm. go. If you want to stay here, that's fine. You know, you can have a good Valentine's Day. I'm sorry if I messed it up. There's no point in staying if you're not here. You're sweet. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll take you back to campus, okay? Just let me ditch Tony's jacket. taking Mara back to the dorm. So don't come back tonight, okay? Oh, right. You still think that you're gonna sleep with Mara and win your bet. It's a sure thing. As long as you can keep Tony occupied. But uh, I'm sure that won't be too hard, right? Do you even like Mara, Ben? Is this really just about some stupid bet? Ready to go? Yes, I am. Goodbye. Well, that was a blast. Well, I hope it wasn't all bad. Well, being with you was good. Just the opposite probably isn't true. I'm sorry I was such a drag tonight. No, I'm sorry I couldn't cheer you up. Of course, the night's not over yet. What are you thinking about? You really want to know? Yeah. Virginity. One of your favorite topics. Actually, I'm kind of embarrassed about it. Not because my essay was emailed to everyone in the world, but because I actually believed what I wrote. I don't know, it just seems like a joke now. Why? You should be proud. You know who you are and where you stand on yeah. issues. <laughs> That's just it. Right now, I'm not sure who I am or what I believe in. Where is this coming from? I was thinking about my mom. <laughs> I mean, here is this woman who's lived this incredible, full, wide-open life. Reva's kind of famous for that. Exactly. I mean, she's had a bunch of passionate affairs, and now she's back with my father and happier than I've seen her in ages. But she didn't need to hold on to her virginity to know who she was or, or to go after what she wanted. Yeah, and then there's Catalina. What about her? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? She wanted Tony, so she slept with him, and and now she's pregnant. And it worked. He's gonna marry her. Sex can be a very powerful thing. Yeah. And what have I been doing this whole time? Playing it safe. Not true. It took guts to write that essay. Put your feelings down on paper? Yeah, except... Now I'm beginning to wonder if it was more about fear than empowerment. I don't know what's so noble about being a virgin queen if, if it's just an excuse to push people away. Do you really think that's what it is? I'm beginning to, at least with me. I've been afraid to get close to people. Uh, people, look at me. Men, men, I have been afraid to get close to men. But it's... 
been easier for me to just hide behind my virginity than to admit that I am scared. Well, you are close to me. And I won't let you push me away. Does this scare you? Being this close? No. Why not? Because I know you. You're my friend. And what would make you afraid? Being seen. Really seen. And not wanted. By someone you had feelings for? That's why you wouldn't make love. No, that's... That's why I'd be afraid to. I don't know, I think I would just die if I got close to someone and was rejected. If they just walked away afterwards. I see you, Laura. And I'm still here. In fact, the more I'm with you, the more I want to see you. Then maybe it's time me to step out from behind my essay and, and stop walling off the people that care about me. And maybe, how would you do that? Maybe it's time for me to start living my life instead of just writing about it and getting it wrong. And how would you do that? You know how. <laughs>